So there's this brand new platform, or let me back up, brand new for me, platform from Quora called Poe, where you can access all of the chatbots for free. Here I am inside of my Poe account. Now, there's quite a bit to unpack. First and foremost, starting with, this is what Poe looks like right now of me shooting this video, April 27th, 2024. And I say that because a lot of the videos that I saw were from a year ago when Cora, Adam D'Angelo made this announcement and they announced that they are opening up public access to a new AI product we have been building called Poe. This has changed a lot and there's a lot to unpack, but the big idea here is you get access to all of the major large language models, the actual chat bots like ChatGPT, Claude, Opus, Llama, that you can get on all the other platforms. Now you can go directly to those platforms and access them for free, or you can do it here, which gives you a little different feel or ability inside of one interface. So let me give you an example, and then we'll talk about like what's going on inside of Poe, as well as some way to make, or a chance or a way to be a creator inside of Poe and make some money by creating your own bot. So here I've selected ChatGPT, and inside of ChatGPT, you can start chatting. Of course, this is free, but it is tied to a point system or a credit system, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. And you can see, for example, to use the free version of ChatGPT inside of Poe, you have to use up 20 of your points per message. But the idea here is to create a blog post for outline keyword, the life cycle of stars, kind of like what I do here on the channel over on the AI blog when I'm using ChatGPT from OpenAI to create a blog post. And you can see it's standard ChatGPT. But here is where it gets cool. You can switch, and then you can see I've switched to Claude 3 Haiku right inside Poe and have it access that chatbot, that large language model, that LLM, and give me a blog post outline that I can compare. Again, I could bring up two browser tabs and do the same thing with two different accounts but I have this functionality right here. Then I switch to Gemini Pro. And then as you scroll down, I also switch to Llama here. So you can see those differences, but then Poe will ask me questions to give me a little more insight. So again, Poe, the platform Poe has been designed to let you chat with all these chat bots for free, utilizing their credit system. And there's other bots as well that we're gonna take a look at but then I have access to open up or compare right here inside of chat. Now, if we go back to the main screen of Poe, this is the official bot of Poe. It is a general assistant bot. So if you click on this, you'll be chatting with this bot and here is the bot information. General purpose assistant bot with strengths in program related tasks and non-English languages powered by ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo and Claude 3 Haiku. It defaults to 3.5 Turbo. It uses 20 messages or 20 credits per message. You can click here to view the details about how all this works. And it's called Compute Points. And the free Compute Points you get are 3,000. So you can use 3,000 Compute Points every 24 hours and then it resets. So essentially you can come here and you can use this based upon your usage up to 3,000 credits. And this is the default. Again, it's powered by GPT 3.5, but a context has been set. Again, the context has been set in this bot, kind of like if you go to ChatGPT, or as you've seen me do here on the channel, if I open up ChatGPT, it's a blank context. If you go and explore a GPT, those GPTs have been programmed to set a very specific content for a very specific use case. So again, go back to that example, and we'll go back to the star cycle or create a blog post outline for the keyword, the life cycle of stars. And here I am in the assistant by Poe. You can see that it gave me the same chat GPT three outline, and then you have these same options. Now, if you click explore, this is where it gets interesting. And part of exploring is, again, the official bot is assistant. The videos that I saw and the information I saw before, this was called Sage, and Sage was replaced by assistant and then someone has created a replica. Now here you can see all these that have been created. 
Again, go back to explore and you can explore all the different bots that have been created. But before we dive into the creator tab, which allows you to join the creator monetization program and get paid when users engage with your bots, I want to call to the fact that I have linked the Quora blog post and the link in the description, or there's a link in the description, as well as to the Poe FAQ. And how do the bots work? The bots on Poe are powered by third-party companies that use large language models, LLMs. LLMs are machine learning systems that have been trained on vast quantities of text data in order to process and generate text. You need to read this FAQ and understand what this is and understand the difference between the bots and how you might use this, either the free version or subscribe, and we'll talk a little bit about that as well. But you can see all the large language models right here inside of Poe, inside of one account. It also explains compute points. You can see what the bots are used for, how, how or if you should trust the bots. Can other people using Poe see my conversations? And then here is the one that really was interesting to me. What is the AI used for the bots trained on Quora Answers? Because this is from Quora. It says not currently. If we do this in the future, we will allow Quora writers to opt in. Now, it does talk a little bit more about Quora in here and the fact that your Poe account or the account that you create when you set up Poe is also tied to your Quora account. Now, this is my profile over at Quora. This is tied to a different email address, so it's not linked to the Poe account. So I'm not really clear on how that works. If I was to log out of this account and then log into Quora and continue with Google, like I did when I set up my Poe account, I think those will be linked to somehow. But right now I want to go back and I want to look at join the creator monetization program and get paid when users engage with your bots. You can earn up to $100 per subscriber and $100 per thousand messages. So this is basically what ChatGPT has been talking about doing revenue sharing over in GPTs when you build your own custom GPT, but it hasn't actually come to life yet. But it seems that Poe has figured out how to do it and you can enroll to join the creator program. Then you can set messages or set per message prices. Each bot's message earn in settings, set message limits, control when to show a paywall. So effectively, someone will get to use your bot until they hit a limit. Then they'll have to subscribe to Poe. And that's part of what you're doing. You are building a bot and you are sharing that bot to attract users by sharing your bot. Then you get paid or you earn money when your bots drive subscriptions and user message your bots and users and users message your bots. So basically you can use your bot for lead generation to get people to bow and or your bot is in the Explorer tab here. So you can make money when people create your bot or use your bot. So for example, if you go under creative writing, there's going to be lots of different bots here. These bots were created by users of Poe or creators of Poe. And of course, if people use these, they're going to hit limits unless they haven't set any limits. But the idea here is you come down to creators, you join the creator program by enrolling, and you come here and you go create a bot. Here you're going to add a picture, you're going to create a handle. This should be a unique name. Then you are going to set the bot behavior. Here you can set the large language model or the chat that you want your bot to interface with, depending on what your bot is going to do. Then you set your best practices, and then you can add knowledge base. So you can add information, you can create greetings. Then you have a bot profile. Then here you can make it publicly accessible. You can also add related bot recommendations, show prompt and bot profile. And of course here you can create the bot and then you can join the creator program and start monetizing, utilizing these bots. I have no other idea or I have no more information on that other than what I've seen right now, but I thought this was super cool and I wanted to share it with you because the information that I'd seen on Poe was a little dated and I wanted to update this and also let you know if you're interested in Poe or if you're using Poe or if you see value in having access to all of these large language large language models all right here inside of Poe and if it'd be something you'd be interested in seeing more of and having me use it to contrast to compare when I am doing my case study when I'm creating content and showing you because mostly I live and work in chat GPT because it's how I've developed my processes and procedures and it's just my normal standard workflow to go to chat gpt also have a subscription and speaking of subscription if you click subscribe you can unlock or this is the price to unlock more access and greater flexibility you can subscribe to send more messages without any daily limits access exclusive bots like 
GPT-4, like I get over at GPT+, and Cloud 3 Opus and more. You can start for a dollar. In seven days, you'll be charged a full subscription. And you can see here, it will be $199 a year or $16 and $67 a month. You can see here what is included and you can get access to GPT-4 and Claude 3 Opus, but you can also check out the limitations here as well and understand that you aren't dealing or you don't have direct access to Claude Opus or GPT-4 when you subscribe here. What you're doing is you are paying Poe and then they have a deal or they have a plan utilizing their API to access these large language models on the back end. So you can type in and play with that, but understand that you are utilizing compute points. So you have to deal with that. All right. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.